I believe websites can be categorized into three different types of biscuit. The rich tea, the digestive, and the chocolate hobnob. Don't worry, it'll make sense in about two minutes. The rich tea biscuit is, well, it's just a bit rubbish, isn't it? It says deliciously dunkable on the packet. I know that's a lie, because if I was to dip this in a cup of tea right now, well, I'd never get the biscuit back. As soon as you dip the rich tea biscuit in the cup of tea, the biscuit is gone and it, it wilts under pressure. It will be stuck in the bottom of the tea. And then when you drink the tea, you eventually get to the bottom and you just have rich tea mush at the bottom. Nobody enjoys rich tea mush, as far as I'm aware. A rich tea website looks shit, works shit, and loads like shit. A rich tea website is the website where if you were unlucky enough, you've paid £3,000 for a WordPress theme that costs $50. A rich tea website is a website that loads slowly, that the images don't work half of the time. That You know when you fill out the contact form and then the contact form reply never comes through to you? So this is a rich tea, is it? That's a rich tea website. A rich tea website over any metric that you choose to put it through is shit. They just taste like paper. Digestives, they're a bit more interesting. Now, digestives, they're a solid biscuit. They don't wilt under pressure. You can dip them in the cup of tea and they'll they'll serve at least two dips, I find. This is the one that I spent many a night, many a crazy night, eating very happily. Chunkier than the rich tea. Tastier as well, I believe. They're quite a nice biscuit. What more can you say about it? But they're reliable but dull, they don't do much. There's kind of a, a boring satisfaction to the mere digestive biscuit. A digestive website is reliable, it works, it performs well, it doesn't do anything badly as such, you know, it, it won't wilt under pressure and it'll keep going for many, many years, but it's just a bit... It's just a bit boring, isn't it? I could only eat three quarters of that, though. You know with a digestive website that you could do better. You know that if the design was improved, if the UX was improved, God, I just used the word UX, didn't I? You know that if you made the website look better, work better, you would probably get more visitors and more clicks and more leads and all these other things. And then, of course, we have the king of all biscuits. The chocolate hobnob baked with 100% whole grain oats. It's all of an oat. It's 100% of an oat in every biscuit. It's an oaty dream. And not only is it an oaty dream, it's got chocolate on the top of it as well. When you dip a hobnob in a cup of tea, it asks for more. It never wilts under pressure. In fact, try and break a hobnob. You can dip it as many times as you want in a hot cup of tea. It'll never wilt. It takes a bit to bite into it. It's a firmer biscuit. They should, they, I mean, they, I think McVitie's could use that as an advert, couldn't they? The chocolate hobnob website is the creme de la creme. The creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. The chocolate hob... I can't even say chocolate now. Next. The chocolate hobnob website is the ultimate website. It's the website that not only works well, performs well in page speed scores, ranks well in search engines, it also brings you leads. I could eat chocolate hobnobs all day long. All day long. You're walking down the street and if you're lucky enough to hone a chocolate hobnob website, people down the street go, are you that person who's got that really good website? You are. Can, can, I, can I get your autograph? Oh, thank, thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm so thankful that I've met you because these websites are the best websites you'll ever see. It's those oaty, salty tones, the note, one might say, of the biscuit, the aftertaste of the biscuit that really elevates the chocolate hobnob into its legendary status, I believe. Unfortunately, the humble chocolate hobnob website, they're quite rare. They cost a lot of money. They take a lot of time to design and build, and they require you as the person who is acquiring the website to actually listen. Therefore, they're a unicorn in the world of websites, but we do wish there was more of them. Luckily enough, Genius Division make chocolate hobnob websites. There you go. Make sure you get a chocolate hobnob website. That's all I'll say. I'm gonna have another chocolate hobnob.